We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be diving in and checking out Metal Max Zeto Reborn. It's by Kadokawa Games and P-Cube Limited, releasing on June 10th, 2022. They sent some information my way, and they're like, hey, does this look cool to you? And I'm like, they have a doggo with a cannon on his back? Yeah, I apps that, that sold me. So we're going to be diving in for the very first time, checking it out together. So let's do just that. Uh, the game does require a controller to play. This is the Steam version, but it highly recommends slash requires a controller to play. So just something to be aware of. I, I guess that's us. We're just 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 chilling. Recall your name. My name is Talus, obviously. Yes. I mean obs. Oh, here we are. We're just chilling. The undersea tunnel, undersea tunnel, character switch command, main menu, and a system menu. Hmm. There's an ant over there. Okay. Uh, can't do character switch. Uh, enemies are selectable, huh? When you enter a monster's field of vision, it'll gain a line of sight on you. The alert gauge will begin to rise. Should the gauge rise to maximum, a battle will begin. Take care as you explore the world. All right. The old peer ant. We're going to go and we're going to attack him with our knife from a very far distance away. Looks like we have some sort of attack um, timer, the bottom right. When a battle begins, each combatant will take actions in order of speed. You can press right to trigger to display details about an enemy. Time stops as you're selecting a command. Please remain calm and do your best to survive. Sweet, we did it. Yeah. Uh, auto attack start. All right, we're just going to turn auto attack on. It looks like that's what we're going to be doing here at the beginning. I like that they have that as an option. The extinction counter is at 98%. Interesting. I assume that is, like, our... I have no idea what that is. Is that our overall, like, health for the party, maybe? And held equipment. Well, we do have... We have a survival knife. But not a main gun. Interesting. Can we do something to this box? It looks like it. No. Item, stone, skill. No? Ah, okay. So, proper item use. You can open, or you can access items using the Y button to open up the action command for them. Items have various uses to suit various situations. Try your best to make use of them. Sure. So, it would be the B button to open a box. Oh, we got a handgun. All right. Equip weapons. Once you have a weapon, press the menu button to bring up your menu. Then you can equip your weapon from there. Like relics and scrap to increase your might and phase off against the monsters. Um, item. Sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. Okay, it seems to be this one. There we go. So now we can do the handgun. We have a longer range. And the attack power is significantly higher. So is there a reason I'd want to use the the knife over the handgun? Do I have ammo? Oh, we just straight up wrecked him. Alright, cool. Uh, it looks like that thing's looking at me. There's an old body, remnants of a machine that once participated in mankind's downfall. It can't move, but it still has the will to kill anything that comes near it. Uh, 
All right, it does look like it's got a medium range. Old body A. Oh, I look like it hurt. If you encounter a monster that's too strong for you, you may need to retreat. If you put distance between you and your enemy or hide in the shadows, you can retreat by uh, press the A button during combat to enter retreat mode and focus on escaping as fast as you can. Should I focus on escaping? Fire out one energy bullet from your left hand, very effective against suns. Well, hopefully this sun right here is going to get wrecked by me. Oh, oh, that they were not kidding when they said it's very effective. I have no idea. Uh, specifically how strong that enemy was, because we really, really took him down. Okay, it does look like we want to go in this way. The exploratory nature of what we we be doing over here. Uh, we got quite a bit of range. I, I actually like the range thing on this. So when we kind of we kind of feel out that we're like thirty uh, meters away, sooty dog tag. Weapons aren't the only gear you can find out there. You can also equip a variety of armor pieces from the main menu. Huh? I don't seem to see a way of running. We can shoot the wall. Or we can shoot this. I think I'm going to shoot the, the ant. Uh-huh. So what if I attack with the knife? Well, the, the handgun didn't do anything. It'll take 100 power to break through. And we clearly don't have 100. Okay. That is pretty cool, though, that they sailed. Oh. Do you think that's a... Uh... No. Okay. But there's clearly... Okay, I'm done. There's clearly a tank here, which is cool, which is definitely going to be a thing that we are going to be looking at getting. Oh, we just got a 7mm machine gun. What? Alright, let's go into equipment from here. Apparently I can't use that. Oh, military gloves, we can use that. Wanderer's boots, no. Okay, what does this do? A little bit of additional defensive power? Okay. Okay, well, I mean, we did what we could. It looks like we can get into the tank, though. Vehicle found. Let's check the strength of it, sure. All right, 88 millimeter cannon, sure. Seems pretty potent. Uh, you got bull and the trait chip, which again, we're not sure what most of this stuff is yet. All right, required the type 10 2.0. Enter name, the mod mark 10. Sure, I mean, that, that's fine. Oh, name is forbidden. Wait, what? Mod mark. 2.0 big old tank this is not a good sign uh, help oh you know what okay it's you can't have uh, spaces that's weird that it defaulted to the one with spaces so we got the mark 10 uh, all aboard all alighted and confirm. All right, well, we're getting all aboard. Riding in a tank increases your survival chances considerably compared to walking on foot. Tanks aren't living beings, so they won't expire even if their SP armor tile reaches zero. 
If a tank is attacked when its SP is at zero, some of its parts may be broken. The broken parts will be rendered unusable until they're repaired, either through items or special facilities. The first step is finding out where you might be able to repair your vehicle. Is that a giant desert shark? While in a tank, use the right trigger to move forwards, left trigger to break and back up. If you press both at the same time and use left stick, you can perform an ultra rapid turn on the spot. When you're driving your tank, you can select an equipped weapon and enter shooting mode. You can freely aim in this mode, firing on whatever, wherever your marker is aimed at. This all seems kind of, whoa. All right, this, this is going to take a little bit to get used to, but... So we, we can just fire willy-nilly in our tank. But we have to stop moving in order to do so. At least that's what it seems. Welcome to the Tokyo Desert. Oh. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go here. We have the 7mm machine gun. I think we definitely want to equip that. And I think that is going to be what we use to attack little baby things uh, we might have to get a little bit closer oh we can oh that's interesting That is very interesting. All right, do we, are we gaining any kind of like experience doing this, or is this just like for the lulls? And oh, what about these things? Are these actually containers that we can open, or oh, it doesn't look like it. Well, I mean, oh, there's something way over there. I see a couple boxes. We might have to do some in and out and whatnot. Well, you know, it's it's interesting. It's quite a bit different than what you would expect from uh, many other games in this genre. Can't say that I you know, dislike it in any way. So character switch doesn't do anything. In and out. So we hop out to loot the chest. Was there anything in there? Oh, I acquired gold. All aboard. All aboard. Seems somewhat questionable to maneuver around. Uh, if I just get close, oh, I I can still loot from in here. Ooh. The mainstay weapon of any tank, a cannon, has stable attack power and various different types of barrel. Mix and match from the types that suit your style the most. So we got the 88 2.0, which is interesting. So it weighs more, there's 1% less affinity, but significantly more damage. Alright, so attack. Interesting, interesting. And we just got a lot of these boys out here, huh? Attack. There's seven millimeter boys out. There's got to be a way. I feel like I missed something. Like there's got to be a way to attack like multiple units because it says that you can attack willy nilly. This is the only way I can figure out how to actually attack. Cut. 
Okay, maybe this is the key. Maybe you can only attack as you do this. Still, I, I suppose it's pretty interesting. Alright, folks. Sorry about this, but I, I apparently got a little bit lost and I was a bit rushed in the later part of this episode. And uh, basically I ended up getting lost and wandering around for quite a long time and not figuring out where I'm going. This never happened before, so I started playing through again to see what I clearly missed and it was this I didn't never apparently got close enough to iron base so we're basically gonna just cut the rest of the original episode that I recorded and we're gonna continue from here so we wandered around on the desert in the desert a little bit on our inner tank shooting some ants looting some stuff and then iron base is calling out to the wastes we're looking for monster hunters who can champion humanity let's fight the monsters slay the monsters. If you can prove your worth as a hunter, Iron Base will offer you a warm welcome. You'll have lodgings, full support. Iron Base will provide food, water, ammunition, and a clean night's rest to any would-be hunters. Alright, a message from the past. Prove your worth. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how I missed that or why it never popped up, but I'm sure it was 100% of me thing, and like I said, I was kind of rushing a little bit um, just, uh, I, I don't say unfortunate timing. I'm just, it's a really busy time for me. My parents are in town. It's the uh, first time I've got to see them in three years. So I've been, uh, we've been doing some extra stuff, hanging out with them and whatnot, which is, uh, nice. Prove your worth? Uh, apparently I did from murdering, report to Iron Base. Cool. From murdering a few ants. Apparently that's, that's all I had to do to prove my worth. Yeah, I have no idea how I completely missed this the first time around, so apologies. But here we are. I am going to finish off some ants. I'm going to loot some of this stuff. And then we're going to continue on with our adventures. Yeah, perfect. Alright, sometimes we come across rubble or debris. You can search or destroy these piles for important materials required for modification and manufacturing. These resources can be periodically recollected as time goes on. So I'm, I'm assuming if we just collect them as opposed to destroying them, probably better. Though I'm not sure. All right, let's go ahead and get in some attack uh, orders out there. The old seven millimeter machine gun. We are definitely a matching gun in it. Oh, I didn't know I could switch over to like trying to handgun. I'm curious as to how that would work. Maybe I'll try it at some point. So far, our tank is untouched. I'm gonna see how this works. Do we pop out and shoot? Oh, we get all the way out and shoot. Weird. Really, 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 really weird. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that we can do that, but I guess it's kind of cool, too. Maybe we have one person manning the tank if we get more people. Uh, then other folks can also hop out and just do extra additional damage. I'm not real sure how that's going to play. But either way, it's pretty interesting. Alright, rat tap, bang. And down goes everybody. I don't know if there's any extra treasure loot out here, but I figured we'd be kind of thorough. I guess we're heading on over to Iron Base. We'll see what's up. See that? We jumped that uh, sand dune back there. We got some air. Hold on. We must loot this thing as well. Ooh, machine guns are weaker than cannons, but they're lighter and have unlimited supply of bullets. There's basic machine guns, chain guns, gatling guns, and more. Mix and match from the types that suit your style the most. Okay. Now, that's interesting. Uh, we did just get new... So, we have the basic machine gun, 7mm, and then we have the 7mm gatling. So, the attack power is higher. 
with a machine gun. This is a cone of shots, so I can shoot multiple enemies. I, I think I'll try it. If I don't like it, I can always switch back. Uh, I am a big proponent of uh, AoE damage, so we'll see. We've been waiting for you, Monster Hunter. You've officially been recognized as an Iron Base resident. You're free to come and go as you please from now on. Uh, sorry to bother you. Oh, okay. So we're just going to hang out inside? Or, like, what's the deal? Oh, well, hello. People, what's up? Welcome to Iron Base. I am an agent android assigned to the base management system. Please call me Poem. I really can't believe there are other human survivors besides us. The name's Dao. Dananuz. Sorry. Danuzio? Danuzio? Or Dianuzio? Sure. Nice to meet you. You'll be able to replenish your ammunition and supplies here at Iron Base. There's also maintenance and other such services available to you. Feel free to go absolutely ballistic with your tank and destroy as many monsters as you want. Yo, holy crap, that's an awesome ride. Wow, awesome. Man, this thing's got the moves. We could kill all kinds of monsters with it in one go. I'm Jingoro. I'm in charge of maintaining stuff around Iron Base. If you got any issues with your tank, let me know. I can fix it up. I've set up a room for you here at Iron Base, so use it however you want. I don't mean to brag, but there's no other place in the world as safe and secure as it is here. Oh, yeah? So, take a bath, get refreshed, and kick up your feet. In a soft sort of bed. Or a soft bed of sorts, or a sort of soft bed, or sort of kick your feet up. I, I don't know, it's fine. I don't think sort was in the thing at all. Clean up and get some rest. Alright. The extinction counter is going down. I, uh, sure. Destroying enemies, finding survivors, and other such acts will lower the extinction meter. Once you defeat an enemy, it will eventually return, and the meter will rise to reflect that. Keep an eye on the meter as you travel the wastes. I mean, does it matter? As long as I don't die, I feel like we're good, right? Welcome to Iron Base. Cool. So there's some treasure loot to be had over here. An energy shot. Alright, there's quite a few things to loot. Recovery drink. Looks like there's uh, an upstairs area. And a recovery capsule. I imagine if we rest, we'll also recover. Sup? Please call me Poem. Mm -hmm. I've set up a room for you. Use it however you want. I don't mean to brag. Yeah, okay. So you guys have done. Okay, so we're going upstairs. Gotcha. Okay, okay. I, I, I see. I see. I see. I see. So, so. Come on. Dunka, 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 dunka. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, some more treasure loot just hanging out over there. Okay. Not mad at it. Oh, there's a lot of treasure loot just laying around. It's a really big ladder. Revival capsule. Ooh, fancy. Full tank, a drink. That sounds weird. Hey, we have a bar. Of course we do. What's up? The last drunkard. The human race is done for. We're all we're dead. We're all dead. <laughs> we're all gonna die. Woo hoo! Humanity's finished. <laughs> uh, the hell are you? I think I'm Carl. Well, cool. I got a side quest for that or something? Yeah, that's cool. It's fine. Ah, we're in room 001, but... But, 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 what is in here? Another, a lot of energy drinks, huh? 
And today's video is brought to you by Energy Drinks. Take a break. Relax. Oh, I can roll. Oh, uh, I'll relax for a day. Sure. I guess. Yoki, if you keep this up, you'll drink yourself into an early grave. What else am I meant to do, Jin? We're the last humans around. If we don't have women, we can't have kids or anything like that. Uh, I guess that's true. Even if we survive, the species can't continue this way. That, that is a good point. Without the old reproducing, things do not look so good. All right, sortie from Iron Base. Sure, I'm here to sortie. Let's get it. Uh, staircase down. There it be. All right, what this? When you want to go out, please do so from the sortie counter. You can use it to organize the vehicles and combatants to your heart's content. Once you've chosen the formation you prefer, you can select sortie to leave the base. You're free to go out at any time of day as well. Okay. To sortie for battle, go to the terminal at Iron Base and select sortie counter. Once you're done relaxing, choose your departure time destination before returning to the heat of battle. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, yep. How do I? Oh, 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 the... okay, there's an arrow up top. All right, now to be fair, that is not very noticeable, but I guess that's on me. Uh, that doesn't look like that's something you can select. All right, well, cool, we figured it out. Sorry, folks. Uh, bad Bumpy is bad, I guess. You guys can chalk it up to me being terrible, not noticing things. Just letting you know, we fit tracking devices to you and your tank. Oh, cool. It'll let us follow your exact location. That seems totally sane. We'll be able to monitor your fights out in the wild this way. Iron Base is here to support, you know? Honestly, we're just waiting for the jaws of death to take us. The place ahead used to be called Shinagawa up here. You ever heard about the giant monster around here? It's called the Catastropus. The Catastropus. It was built to wipe humanity off the face of the earth. A sophisticated killing machine. That thing makes its move. It'll destroy Iron Base. We'll all die. We have to put an end to it before that happens. There's no other way. Space doesn't just supply tanks. It has facilities for buying, selling, and manufacturing weapons and modification. You can get just about any supply you need by hunting monsters. But the system of capital is a stubborn old thing. You'll need money if you want to get anywhere. But hey, if you beat any of the wanted monsters with bounties on your on your head, on their heads, I guess, you'll be able to collect a pretty penny. This place is called uh, Dice Tokyo. It's a place where the legacy of the past lies dormant. If we can defeat more of those vicious wanted monsters, we might be able to make some breakthroughs. You should look to getting yourself allies, too. Strength in numbers and all that. As for the survivors, we've got some intel you can cross-reference. Try searching around the local survivor camps in search of potential allies. We'll give you an advance payment of a thousand gold, or G, or whatever, as uh, is customary. Find new friends, claim bounties from wanted monsters, and most importantly of all, defeat Catastropus. No problem. So, thanks a bunch. You might be the last monster hunter. You're basically our last hope. Travel the ruins of Dice Tokyo and find a way to strike down Catastropus. 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 Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, we completed a main quest. And we're gaining some experience. Very nice. Endangered population survey. Head to the survivor camp. Crush the face of ruin. Seems totally fine and not going to be dangerous or difficult in any way, shape, or form. We'll be fine. Oh, it's dark out. Okay. I'll send you information on wanted enemies as they become relevant. You can check up on any wanted monsters you know about via the data section of the menu. 
There's a special class of monster known as Wanted Monsters. These monsters have heavy bounties on their heads. They're strong, but they provide considerable sums of money upon their defeat. Check information on them from the data section of the main menu. You need to do all you can to survive in a world like this. I'm forwarding a program designed to train newbie monster hunters. Check out the quest segment under the map area in the main menu. I'm not saying drop everything you're doing, but if you want to be a fully fledged hunter, you should check it out. You can access quests from the map on your main menu. Your destination will be displayed along with any relevant information. As the information about the game can be displayed by pressing the view button, you can also access this information through the tutorial menu. Never get confused, don't be afraid to learn. All right, cool. But, 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 be a treasure hunter. All right, we're gonna head into the, uh, the desert on a horse with no, no, it's fine. I switched up my can. I did, apparently did a whole bunch of stuff. There it is. The other one got into range. I was able to clip them both. No, he's going to get out of range. He might make it. He made it. Had to be a little bit patient there. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Uh oh. Oh, buddy. Rat tat bang, baby. Oh, I felt good. Oh, the Gatling's the way to go for sure. I mean, a little bit less damage, yeah, but. Oh, what's that thing? Is that a bottle of alcohol? I think you should bring that back to De Anuzio. Or De An An Anuzio? Yeah, De Anuzio. You might end up having a nice experience at the bar, you know? Maybe. Should I be going after the big boy? I feel like going after the big big boy is maybe not the, the recommended way. Let's go kill another group of ants and see what's over in these... Uh, these corners and then uh, maybe maybe we'll call our first episode there yeah like I said unfortunately I was kind of rushed earlier we were heading out to dinner and whatnot and alas uh, I ended up getting myself lost I don't know if the rushing had anything to do with it but I, I was like man I, I don't I don't know where I'm at or what I'm supposed to be doing right now but I suppose we'll figure it out and I never really did so uh, and then I came back like, all right, let's figure it out now, and just nope. Big old nope piece. Oh, they are very upset with me. They didn't like that at all. they're uh, a little afraid now they they got to piece me up a little bit they took a, a couple of pot shots at me kind of made me a little nervous but I mean in the end I suppose it didn't matter too too much oh oh the, the big angry shark man is big angry and shark like probably should avoid getting him upset with me if I can help it Alright, I'm going to try to outrun this shark, if I can figure out where the shark is. There it is. So if I can... I, I, oops. So I say, if I can stay ahead of him and not hit things, which I failed epically to do, by the way, I think we'll be okay. I, I think I'm going to need to actually take these guys down with my cannon fire here. Oh no, I missed. I don't like this at all. This is terrible. Oh. What? 
wait, wait, what's, what's, what, why is it freaking out at me? Why is it telling me to back up? Doesn't look like you can dodge these shots, though. Weird. I guess we got really unlucky with that initial attack. Definitely piecing these guys up. That one's way bigger. Look at that thing. That thing was almost the same size as those, but so much further back. Is that even a thing I want to fight? I think I'm going to try to avoid it for right now. Take care of the rest of these guys. That thing looks like it's going to hurt me. Do we know how much damage these things do? Oh, that's a slow piece right there. Ugh. We got a projectile launcher. Interesting. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at our actual equipment here. Get in there. Maybe a projectile launcher is more. Oh. No, this is just painting. It's maybe more akin to, like, a, a piece. Oh, there's something there to go loot. Anyway, guys, guys, I think we're going to bring it off here in a minute. I'm kind of getting into this a bit more. Ooh, a 9mm chain gun. I mean, I don't know if that's as good as a Gatling gun. I mean, I feel like it's not, but we should at least uh, hear it out. Let's see what we got here. It does single target four times. So definitely does more damage overall. So that's 400. Which is way higher than anything else. But our hit rate is terrible with it. It's not even that good with the Gatling. So the chain gun's even worse. Huh. Alright, well. Doesn't matter. We're hitting them with an 88 millimeter cannon. And yeah, we'll see where that puts us. I don't know. All right, I'm going to loot this thing, and that's going to pretty much do it, ladies and gentlemen. I, I kind of hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Like I said, I was really enjoying my time. I didn't want to have to rush through it, and I kind of did a little bit, and somehow I, I just got lost. I saw big enemies, and I started wandering this way. I never found Iron Base or any of that stuff. So I think we're in a much better situation, a much better uh, position. And I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what all happens, what we can uh, get done, what we can accomplish. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here for it. Anyway, uh, big shout out and a thank you to P Cube for hooking me up with the code for this. If I didn't say it earlier on, thank you very much. Uh, it's always great when a publisher, developer, or what have you sends a code my way because I would not be able to do even a tenth of what I do without the generosity of folks like them. So, again, big, big, big thanks. Much, much appreciated. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to more. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher and any of that stuff down below in the description of the video will be various links as well as of course your ability to like and uh, comment if maybe you know you enjoyed it and you want to tell me about it or maybe you've played this before and you know you want to say hey you're you're getting into some crazy stuff it's gonna be really cool I, I don't know F feel free to share your experience your thoughts on the video and whatnot and of course subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time with more Metal Max Zeno Reborn until then I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.